a great earthquake of magnitude 9.0, a massive tsunami struck northeastern Japan. <laughs> Nearly 20,000 lives were lost or unaccounted for. The disaster generated millions of tons of debris. The local authorities and citizens took up the challenge of dealing with such huge quantities of debris. In order to learn from Japanese experience and also to share the experience of disaster waste management, United Nations Environment Program organized an international expert mission from February to March 2012. And what we are doing here uh, is to assemble an international mission of experts uh, who have come here to look at how the government of Japan is handling that so that the lessons could be learned um, for use in other countries. As a first priority to save lives, roads were cleared and debris was accumulated in several primary storage areas. To effectively manage such large quantity of debris, it is important to segregate it into different components. They were segregated into several categories such as wood, metals, electrical items, vehicles, concrete and so on. It is also important to segregate hazardous materials and store them separately. Some segregated materials is already being recycled. Three trunks will be sent to a paper industry for making paper. Segregated and shredded wood is being desalinated at cement company to be used as fuel. Residual non-recyclable waste needs to be disposed of safely. Local authorities have already set up several incinerators to process such waste. There were concerns about radioactive contamination of debris. Local authorities are doing regular monitoring of the waste for any possible contamination and after confirming its safety, ask other local governments to accept the debris. Although some excellent work has already been done, much more remains to be done. There is a lot to be learned from the Japanese experience and disseminated to other countries so that they are better prepared to handle disaster waste.